Welcome everyone, my name is Jessica and this is Simple, Cheap and Easy DIYs. Make sure you watch my last episode after you watch this episode. I'm going to start off by taking a pack of these Brillo pads that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to carefully start unrolling it from the center outwards as you can see me doing here and it's really easy to do and it ha does have the opening so once I have that partially unrolled I'm going to take that and place that over the top of the mason jar. Now I am going to leave just enough around the rim that we'll be able to attach it. And once I have enough at the top, I'm just going to start unrolling it and smoothing it out over the entirety of the mason jar. And I'm actually going to be making three of these, but you can make as many as you would like. Next, taking an old pair of scissors, I'm going to cut the bottom uh, around the bottom of the mason jar. And I'm going to leave enough that I'll be able to wrap that around um, the bottom edge and be able to glue that down. Next, taking my hot glue, I'm just going to start gluing the uh, Brillo pad to around the bottom edge of the mason jar. And I'm not going to wrap it all the way around, that way it does sit flat. I'm just going to um, glue it to the base, kind of as you can see me doing here. That way it, do it won't be able to be seen, but it will still allow the mason jar to lie flat. Now taking this jute twine that I got from Dollar Tree, I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue to the top and then I'm just going to start wrapping that around making sure that the Brillo pad is underneath the jute twine and then wrap it all the way around the top. Once I'm happy with the amount of jute twine that's wrapped around the top, I'm just going to apply a little bit of hot glue and then this will be uh, what your mason jar will look like once it's complete. Now I, again, I did make three of these, but you can make as many or as less as you would like. I did choose to use this for silverware, but you can use it as a flower vase or for anything um, that you would like. And this is what the completed project will look like. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Till next time, have a nice day.